Hello everybody, this is The Faked Reel. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually going to be putting out my first tutorial video, so I have no idea how well I'm going to do. Um, there are a few people that are um, very good at explaining this. I'll link them into the description below. So go ahead and check them out if you want to. And okay, let's get started. Um, I'm going to be talking about a specific type of lighting called three-way lighting. That's when you have three lights and have it um, on your model or prop, depending on what you're using it for, and make it look good. Um, when people usually light stuff, they usually have only one light on them and make it look, and just say it's good. Um, if you can take a look at this, we have a scout here. Um, you can see a huge blur right here along the edges and it makes it look like it's kind of part of the background rather than its own model. And also we have huge shadows on this side because the light is actually on this side of the model. So it makes a bunch of shadows on this side. So the way you fix that is you make something called a fill light. So the fill light is on the opposite side right here. It's a little bit lower so you can get better angles on some shadows. Um, what I tend to do is I disable the shadows. So we have, yeah, hold on, go ahead and jiggle that a little bit. So it has a little bit of shadow coming off of it, and since it's basically a reflective light from this, um, what you're going to do is disable the shadows. So when we move it, you can see that there's no more shadow from the hand anymore. And I also turn down the intensity a little bit because it's just reflective light from this light. So you don't need as much light on this side. Also, the last thing that you're going to use is going to be called the backlight, which is a very important light in my terms. Um, if we turn it on, it will show a whole lot of highlight on the model. So if we turn it off, it still looks like it's a part of the background. But if you turn it on, we'll see that there is a big line of difference between them. I just um, turned on, turned it to a different color so you can see it better. But you can see from here that we have highlighting here on the arm, up this arm, and up the head. And it makes it look a lot better and it makes it look like it's its own model and not part of the background. So here I have Silhouette. Um, she is a OC from Ink Pots. I made this model. So, um, I'm using her because she is a black OC. Um, black on black is not really a good thing because if we turn off the lights and add in another light, let's go ahead and adjust it right up here for the light. look it is with one light you can't really see that much on the model like really on the ear it doesn't really stand out it's kind of part of the background still so if we go ahead and quickly add in some lights we'll go ahead and throw it in fill light right over here dim it down that's the important thing the highlight, which is really important in these situations. So if we do that, it really touches it a bit. Let me just move it over here a little bit. That would be perfect. Okay, so after I put in the lights, you can see it a whole lot better and the highlight really helps in this situation because if we turn it off, it still looks blended into the background. The highlight is one of the biggest things about um, the real way lighting is that you make it pop out as a character. So you can see from the highlight that it highlights the hair very well. It highlights part of the body. 
and a little bit of the ear. Um, I made a picture with one with this OC in it, and I actually forgot to highlight the ear. And if you can see it, you actually can't see the ear at all. And this really helps in this situation. Something that is really fun to work on in SFM is actually trying to make um, real life lighting. Um, I'm I live in a desert, so I see this all the time. Um, if you look at a cactus um, during sunset, it actually makes its own rim light. So um, if you can see, it makes a bright orange around the cactus during sunset. So right in the name of the lighting, um, it's really dim lit. So I'll go ahead and throw in some lights. Give me a moment. Okay, so I'm done with the picture with the um, I did focus on highlighting the cactus and that did get left out would be the truck and the rock here because they look kind of dimmed out compared to the cactus. So we're gonna go fix that. Um, when you're doing lights, you don't have to necessarily necessarily just do three lights. You could add in more lights if you have to to try to make the scene look better. So cactus, the truck here. Sorry. Um, I'm going to actually put a highlight on it because if you have the sun beating down on a car, then it's usually going to highlight it. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you can see already, let me turn on for comparison. It looks a whole lot better if you put the highlight on it. Um, we're also going to do the rock over here. So we'll go ahead and put the rock light right about where should we put you yeah that's good so I'll go ahead and turn down the intensity just a touch and change the color right about there there we go These two lights alone, just by doing that, it makes the whole picture look a lot more alive and realistic. So if I turn these off, it makes the picture look a bit dimmer. But so you could add in more lights if you have to, just don't put in so many that you crash it. Okay, so on the ending note here, this is a quick poster I made. Um, so I just did the regular three-way lighting system. So we have the main light, we have the fill light, and we have the highlights. The highlights, I actually put in four of them because I did highlight a couple of stuff. Don't be afraid to just narrow yourself to, to a couple lights. It's okay to fill in more, just don't crash the system doing it. Be very generous with it, but don't... yeah. So, we have the main light. If you turn it off, yeah, you can see that. We have the fill light, which fills in the shadows. And we have the highlights. Now, if I turn off the highlights, it doesn't look as detailed as it was before. But if I turn them on, it really makes it stand out. And this is probably one of the most important things in, um, in lighting that you should remember is to try to highlight because it really does help in the end. Um, that's about all I really have on the subject. Um, if you like this, please say in the comments if you have any questions. This is still my first video so I don't really know if I did a good job or not. I guess I'll find out. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this.
And I guess see you in the next one. This is the Faked Reel, signing out. Till next time. Bye!